Hey everyone, welcome to what you may have missed in Hell of a Boss episode one, Murder Family. That episode was a die for. Really, Fox? What? They made a killing with that episode. Stop, just stop, please. Back to why we are here. We have several on this list that even caught us by surprise. Really? Would have thought we'd expect this kind of stuff after the pilot. Anyway, the first thing we found was actually pretty cute. The name of the school is Puppies Junior School. I bet Charlie would love that. For number two, we noticed something about our favorite Murdo's teacher, Mrs. Mayberry. She's actually ambidextrous. <laughs> All right. Number three, well, there is something that Blitz- It's yes, Blitz! The O is silent! Okay, jeez. Blitz. Happy now? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. We'll enjoy. There's a small horse statue next to Mrs. Mayberry's husband's computer. Could this be a non dismental horse? Number four. Mrs. Mayberry must be either really passionate about her class or math because her classroom curtains even have math symbols on them. Well, we do know that she is passionate about other things. Number five. There are several cars in the school parking lot, including Mrs. Mayberry's, which says, I heart school, and a blue car that has a shorthand for pee before you go on it. Must be a parent. The most notable one is the pink car that has the license plate number Pen15. I don't know about you, but I do not want to meet the faculty or staff member with that license plate. Number six. No wonder Mrs. Mayberry peels out of the parking lot so quickly. There's a speed limit sign saying children's zone 90 kilometers. That's almost 60 miles per hour. Okay. Well, anyone else notice the huge bones under the school? Well, she did have a big bone to pick with a certain teen husband, if you know what I mean. Ugh, Fox. <laughs> Number eight. On the wall behind Blitzo's desk lamp. It's... Blitz! The O is silent! How many times do I have to tell you people? As I was saying, on the wall behind Blitzo's desk lamp, we see two tickets saying circus ticket. Maybe this is a hint to Blitzo's past, or a clue about the next episode. Number nine. Maybe Blitz. Finally! Thank you! <laughs> really likes lemons. Or maybe Moxie thought it would make a funny joke about his sour personality. Either way, Blitz has an entire lemon tree in the corner of his office near the dartboard. Number 10. As we can tell by the couple's wallpaper, they're kind of bad at... No, wait. wait. Is that a pelvis? Huh. Number 11. So, I guess Blitz has had a lot happen in his office? I can understand a few of his buzzers, but just wow. He has seven buzzers. More coffee. Soiled my pants. Horny client. Deranged client. Client giving birth. Ghost. And of course, stole us. I don't think I want to know what caused a few of those to have been added. I do. Anyway, number 12. One of the drawings on the wall with an arrow through it is a RoboFizz. Wonder who shot that arrow and if the picture was drawn strictly for target practice. And wait a minute, is that. is that Serpentius? Oh, would you look at that! Everyone else thinks he's a fucking loser too! <laughs> hey, stick to your own fucking series! Number 13. Next to the eel tank, there's a picture with a face torn. The imp looks like a female imp with male horns in the position of the Mona Lisa. Number 14. The fire truck for the fire imps is number 420. This is the police code for weed. <laughs> I wonder if the M's have lit it up. Seems they may have sparked something themselves with that blaze it on the other side. Ah, shit! You two are fucking narcs, aren't you? What? No. <laughs> you could have fooled me. That line totally had a cop trying to use hip lingo vibe. Moving on with number 15, we have... <sighs> Blitz. What's up with the sign? What? It's a perfectly professional... Oh, uh, what the fuck? God damn it, I told Moxie I should have just sent a normal text, but no! Texting and driving is bad, sir. You can kill someone. Like, that isn't our fucking business! Whoa, calm down. This stuff probably happens all the time. You're still getting business, right? Yeah, I guess. Besides, before you go into the living room, we have number 16. A billboard that poses a question we all want to answer. 
dick. Not for me, thanks. I'm good. Already had your visit with Stolas, huh? Oh, fuck off! Oh, you'd like me to. Boys, please, you can fight later. We got a list to finish. Number 17, once we get to the home of this loving family, we can spawn an interesting trophy. A child's head mounted on the wall. The fuck? Is that a mirror frame out of the bones? You think that's bad? Just wait till you see our hidden treasure, number 18. A lamp consisting of a stand made of bones and a skin-bound lampshade. Also, is that an urn in a wheelchair? Call me crazy, but I think they just weren't ready to say bye to Mima yet. Wait, do they seriously have bones mixed in with the firewood? Oh yeah, and hey, check out the arm in the fridge. Gotta keep those leftovers on hand. Box? What? You know how hard it is to come across quality meat these days? It'll cost you an arm and a leg. God, can we just get to the next bit here? Oh, Blitz has black blood. I wonder if that's an imp thing. Maybe it's all Hellborns, but no time to dwell on that. Let's get back to the house. Why? What? You don't want us to talk about the room where the furniture, trophies, tapestries, food, and frame pieces are all made of stretched, rotten, putrid flesh? Can we please get away from this home and go somewhere nicer? What about Stolas's place? Look at his bathroom! I'd kill for a bubble bath with such a candles like that. Seriously, I'm kinda jealous, but also check out the constellations. All along his curtains you can see many different constellations that are normally seen in the Northern Hemisphere. And with him being tuned to the stars, it makes sense he'd have various astrology signs surrounding his tub. Kinda weird that the constellations change directions though. Then they just change right back. That is weird. I'll tell you what's not weird. Blitz's phone. Why am I not surprised Blitz is an imp emoji and a shorthand for go fuck yourself on his case? But yellow, really? Yeah, it's for people who piss me off when I'm working! Blitz, that joke was not your best. Yeah, but not my worst either. Don't know if I'm more scared by that or by these weird stick ornaments. What are they? Cultist designs? Special calling cards? Reference to the Blair Witch Project? Ah, fuck, I hope not. That piece of shit was a waste of time I'll never get back. I thought for free and I still wanted a refund. Well, they clearly mean something. There's a shit ton of them. Along with this stake with ornamental horns and a huge eye on top of it. Martha clearly states the family works for Satan, so... Maybe it's a message of the devil's eyes see all. I mean, we see eyes everywhere in hell. So it does make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. When did Martha have time to change your earrings? They turned from the turquoise drop earrings into two different animal skulls. A bird skull on her left ear, and a vermin skull on her right. Looks like a squirrel or a chipmunk. Want to know something even stranger than that? Our last little blink and missed moment for this episode. When we return to the house with Moxie one final time, he attempts to summon 911, but accidentally uses the universal remote. That's clear. What you may not notice was the cartoon playing on the family TV. So what? It's just playing a random show. Lots of shows have random shows playing on TV for filler. That's the kicker. You'd think it was something random the crew threw together, but it's not. It turns out that this show is actually an old piece of Warner Brothers World War II propaganda, featuring the character Private Snafu, a character who had some of his shorts written by Dr. Seuss of all people. The shorts of that character fall under public domain, so the Spindlehorse team were free to use it. The particular short shown here is Hot Spot, a short in which the devil himself travels to Iran, the furnace of the Middle East. He discusses the country's climate, terrain, and infrastructure, as he watches Snafu and the troops transport cargo through it on their way to Russia. The devil is actually the character seen on the TV in this scene, Seems appropriate considering the Satan worship the family seems so proud of. Private Snafu? What kind of name is that? Well, Snafu is probably referring to the military phrase. Yeah, it means situation normal all fucked up! <laughs> I was going to say that. Yeah, that fits this family well. And what a note to wrap up on. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope you may have learned a little something new about your favorite Hell Crew. Well, I learned that Dr. Seuss worked on World War II propaganda. And isn't that the greatest lesson of all? Blitz! Blitz. That's it, fuckers! 
I'm gonna fucking kill that ember. Hey there, everyone. This is your radio demon. Your f favorite jester! And the greatest imp in all of hell! It's your vocal chameleon here. Just wanted to thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you liked it, and if you did, there's lots of ways you can support us. If you're a fan of our memes and streams, we have lots of crazy merch, with plenty more to come. References to our various playthroughs, or just running gags for the streams. We even have little bosom buddies so we could be in your shirt pocket. So cute! <laughs> We also have our Patreon. Joining us select tiers gives you access to join our Discord, exclusive downloads, and even join us on streams. And lastly, if you enjoyed our Hasbun Hotel content here, consider checking out our second channel, Down the Foxhole. Not only do we have our Hasbun content there, but a wider array of videos too. Speed paints, creepypastas, even some original comics to dub. Links to all of these are in the description. Fall on down. Stay a while, won't you?